welcome once again. We're going to continue looking at the laws of indices. Remember, in our previous lesson, we did three laws of indices, the law of multiplication, the law of division, and an index of an index. Now, today, we want to look at the other two laws of indices that can help us in simplifying indices. So the fourth law that we're going to look at, the fourth law that we're going to look at is the index of a product want to look at the index of a product okay if we've been given for example if we've been given for example that 2 times 3 to the power 2 normally when evaluating this or when expanding it it will be 2 times 3 multiplied twice 2 times Three, like that. So this is what it means. Two times three multiplied twice. So it will be, when we remove the brackets, it will be two times three times two times three there. Then we group the like terms. It will be two times two times three times three, which will eventually give us, this is two to the power two, times 3 to the power 2. So when we are using the laws of indices and this fourth law which is the index of a product, we just distribute the power to these indices to the bases inside the bracket. So this one will be 2 to the power 3 like that here we have a power one which a mathematical eye should be able to see okay like that so here we're going to see two times there is one times two times three three there this is a three one times two which will give us two to the power two times three to the power three so two to the power two sorry two to the power two so this answer is the same as this answer which we found here so if you check this is the easiest way to go about solving indices which are in this form okay so we can look at another example we can look at another example for the index of a product index of a product we can have 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 2 okay to the power 5 okay so in this case we do the same way okay so we are going to multiply meaning 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 2 will be multiplied 5 times but that will be too long for us so we just use this law here okay so it will be 2 then 3 times 5 times 3 2 times 5 which will give us 2 to the power 15 times 3 to the power 10 this has been simplified using the law of index indices which states the index of a product okay so that is how we can work out the index of a product we just multiply the powers we just multiply the powers okay so I'll give one more example I'll give one more example about index of a product so that we can also work with indices with a negative power we see how we can simplify them using this law of index we can look at the other example on the index of a product index of a product where we can have where we can have maybe 5 to the power 2 times 3 like that raised to the power 3 using the index of a product here we can see that 3 has been raised to 1 there is an invisible one here which a mathematical eye should be able to see 
okay so we're going to multiply negative 3 which is the power by this power there we also multiply negative 3 by that power so it will be 5 then 2 times negative 3 multiplied by 3 1 times negative 3 this will give us 5 to the power negative 6 times 3 to the power negative 3 so these are negative indices these are negative indices we can make them to be positive indices by in 1 over 5 to the power 6 times 3 to the power 3 like that okay and this will eventually be our answer remember we're not finding the final answer here we are just trying to see how we can work these laws of indices out so that is how it is going to be okay so remember i stated earlier that you can write indices using positive and negative form so you can convert a negative index into a positive index and vice versa okay so this is the lesson that we had but we're going to continue with the last law of indices the last law of indices which is index of a quotient so let's look at the last law of indices which is the index of a quotient we want to look at the fifth law of indices we want to look at the fifth law of indices which is the index we're looking at the index of a quotient we're looking at the index of a quotient for example if we are given if we are given 3 divided by 2 3 divided by 2 to the power 4 this in a normal way will be 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 okay like that which will give us 3 to the power 4 remember when we are multiplying fractions we multiply numerator by numerator denominator by denominator so 3 has been multiplied 4 times and 2 has been multiplied four times so now using the laws of indices using the laws of indices any in indices written in this form a to the power p over b to the power q whole raised to the power m will give us will give us a to the power p times m over b to the power q times m so in this case it will be 3 divided by divided by 3 divided by 2 to the power 4 it will be equal to here there is a, a power 1 there is a power 1 there which an in the, uh, a mathematical i should be able to see so this will be 3 over 2 to the power 1 to the power 1 times 4 which will be equal to 3 1 times 4 over 2 1 times 4 which will eventually give us 3 to the power 4 over 2 to the power 4 so this is the easiest way we can work out indices then if the question required us to to evaluate we could have evaluated 3 to the power 4 we find the answer and 2 to the power 4 we find the answer then divide thereafter but in this case we're just trying to see how we can simplify using laws of indices okay I'll give another example on the laws of indices I'll give another example on the laws of indices to help us even understand better Another example we can look at on the index of a quotient, we can say 3 over 2 to the power negative 4. This will be equal to, remember, our base is in negative form. 
So we're going to convert it into positive form. So it will be 1 over 3 to the power 2, 3 over 2 to the power 4. Now our index has become positive. Then it will be equal to 1 over 3. Here there is a power 1. 1 times 4 over 2, 1 times 4 which will be equal to 1 over 3 to the power 4 over 2 to the power 4. But if you look at this, it is the same as we are dividing a fraction over another fraction. So it is the same as 1 divided by 3 to the power 4 over 2 to the power 4. This is the same as over 1, which will be equal to 1 over 1 times, then we, we find the reciprocal here to be 2 to the power 4 over 3 to the power 4, which will eventually be 2 to the power 4 over 3 to the power 4. That is how we can simplify that. Okay, thank you so much for having joined us in this lesson. This is where we end with the laws of indices. This is where we end with the laws of indices. Remember to check out for the class activity in the notes that will be given below. Thank you so much.